Hi, I am Ann Frost and I am the Executive Director of Visit Pella and we are here today with our board chair, Jesse Voss. Jesse, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, so I work at Pella Historical Museums. I'm the assistant director there and have mm -hmm. been for about three and a half years. Um, I love my role there. I get to do social media, working with visitors, working with members, exhibits, all sorts of things. Um, so that's really enjoyable. I've lived in Pella my whole life, other than when I went to school in Grand Rapids, um, but of course came back because I couldn't stay away. Uh -huh. um, but it's, yeah, it's always been my home. Um, I can't imagine really being anywhere else. So yeah. yeah, I live in an apartment downtown here so I can walk everywhere. I live with my two kitties. Um, my fiance, Sean, lives in Des Moines, but we're hoping to settle in Pella eventually. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it, it's, I've been here my whole life and yeah, can't imagine being anywhere else. Yeah, so you are a lifelong resident and you plan to be one. Uh, yes, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah, great. So what do you enjoy most about the Visit Pella board? Yeah, I think our board is full of really creative people with a lot of big ideas mm -hmm. who are here to support the staff and the CVB, um, but also are, you know, they're there for support, not to take over and take control. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, I appreciate each individual on the board and how they contribute, and then also how they let you and the rest of the staff grab an idea and run with it um, and support you in the best way that they can. But I've, I've met a lot of amazing people through being on the board and people that I may not have gotten to know otherwise. So I'm just really thankful for the individuals that have come together and um, said, yeah, I'm passionate about Pella and getting visitors to Pella and I'm gonna give give up my time and talents to be a part of something bigger. Yeah, we're so thankful for them too. What is a don't miss in Pella that you think visitors should know about? I mean, I'm obviously gonna say Pella Historical yeah. Museums. Um, as someone who works there and spends all my, my working time there, I think it's something that the community really appreciates and knows is there, but doesn't necessarily frequent as much as they, they could. Mm -hmm. I think our visitors really, really love it. Mm -hmm. um, we have one of the largest working windmills in the United States. We grind grain there. People can come see that process in action, and it's not an experience you're going to get in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just the historical village is a great way to learn about Pella's past and what makes us who we are. So. If you come into this town and you're like, what, what is this place? Why is mm -hmm. it like this? The historical village and windmill are the place you need to go to really get a, a grasp on the history of how we became who we are today. Mm -hmm. Bailey and I were talking this morning about, you know, people come for tulip time for the tulips and then they are just immersed in the Dutch culture mm -hmm. with the windmill and the, the architecture downtown and all of yeah. the things. There's so much um, in Pella that's Dutch and that's easy to to say but until you mm -hmm. get here you're like oh this is this is the real deal we had a visitor come the other day who said um you know when i first got here she was a, a dutch person she mm -hmm. said i got here and i thought oh you know it's you have the dutch front on your walmart there's something kind of hokey about this but <laughs> she said i was not here for very long and i realized it goes deeper than that mm. it is a culture it is um an identity here and it's not just the dutch fronts on the buildings it's mm -hmm. really um the way that we see ourselves and uh our have our pride in our heritage yeah that's a compliment mm -hmm. to the whole community isn't it yes absolutely yeah. what are some of your favorite places to grab something to eat here in Pella oh you can see I have my coffee mm -hmm. I go to the sanctuary mm -hmm. just about every morning uh-huh <laughs> um, coffee shop and grab my tea latte or my latte uh-huh um, I love all the coffee shops in town the brew mm -hmm. um, iris smoky row the ones that are out of town, the perk, uh -huh. I'm, I'm at all of them all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Spread the love. Exactly. Yeah, I, I do. I kind of go to a different one every every day of the week. Uh -huh. but yeah, I love going to Dutch Fix and grabbing a, mm -hmm. a Dutch treat. I, I'm one of those people that I love like mayonnaise on my fries and mm -hmm. that's the place to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I really love the Asian eateries in Pella. I mm -hmm. love Yamato for sushi, Fuji for Chinese food. I have yet to try the Viet Thai place, oh, but I'm mm -hmm. really excited about that too. So mm -hmm. yeah, those are some of my go-tos. Yeah, great. And you know, over in the Dutch culture, they do have a lot of Indian food. And so, I mean, we've got it all here in Absolutely. Pella, right? Indonesian. Yeah, yeah, we do. We yeah. cover it all. <laughs> Um, what is, a, where is a favorite place to visit in Pella? So you already talked about the historical 
but is there someplace else that you you just like to go and visit, even though you've lived here your whole life? Yeah, I I really love the shops in town, mm -hmm. um, especially now that I live on the square. I'm mm -hmm. in them a lot more just to, I find myself shopping local more often because it's, it's easier than going online. It's easier mm -hmm. to pop two doors down from my apartment mm -hmm. um, and check out what they have. But more than that, I've gotten to know a lot of the people, which mm -hmm. is really fun. Um, I love going into Pella Papery or the Curiosity Shop or any of the wonderful businesses downtown yeah. and just really connecting um, with the people who are working there or who own it mm -hmm. and um, seeing some of their awesome product. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I love the shops. I also love um, trying to think of an, another not you know shopping related place that I love to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, the community center is a place oh. that really means something special yeah. to me. I do a lot of theater, community theater, and mm -hmm. so I spent a lot of time there growing up and I've recently gotten back into it again. And mm -hmm. just being there is nostalgic and fun and, and yeah. great people there too. Great, great. Um, so why should visitors come to Pella? Or what is a favorite takeaway or souvenir from Pella that you think people, every visitor should take this away from Pella yeah. to remember their time here? When people come into the historical village and say, okay, where should we go next? We always send them to the meat markets and the bakeries. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. um, they got to pick up their Pella bologna and their Dutch letter. Although I, I prefer to get like a cream poppy seed cake or <laughs> something like that. But yeah. um, I think everyone needs to try the amazing food here for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. I Like I was saying before too, I just, I think Pella is such a genuine place. It, mm -hmm. I had a friend say to me once, You're, it's like a fairy tale town or, you know, people say it's like a Hallmark movie and yeah. on a surface level, you know, it is. It's very cute. It's a place to come mm -hmm. and explore, but it's the people here that make it really worth visiting mm -hmm. um, and connecting with. You're not just going to walk around and see the things. You're going to connect with the people yeah. and um, get to know their their spirits and why mm -hmm. they love being here as well. So mm -hmm. talk to people and grab a Dutch letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the great thing about most of the bakeries, the meat markets, and the, the shopping anywhere in Pella is there's a great online presence mm -hmm. and people can order things. So if if you've never had a Dutch letter and you want to try one before you come, you can order those. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of that's kind of fun. Have a little bit of Pella delivered to you. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you, Jesse, for coming and spending some time with us today. Absolutely. And um, we look forward to learning more about Pella to share with you.